Adderall, which is the trade name for amphetamine, is a stimulant medication that is used in the treatment of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, the ADHD. Adderall works by increasing the amounts of dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin in the brain through variety of mechanisms. And Adderall is generally well tolerated by most patients, but it sometimes may lead to side effects that will be mentioned in this video here. And always remember that every person will have a different experience with the side effects of Adderall. So some side effects that will be present in some patients would not be present in others. So starting with the first Adderall side effect, and that is reduced appetite and weight loss. And the explanation for this side effect is that higher levels of dopamine and norepinephrine that comes with the Adderall use will affect the hypothalamus leading to suppression of the hunger feeling, meaning the person would not feel hunger as much as they are without Adderall, leading to reduced appetite, which lead to reduced caloric intake, which ultimately lead to weight loss. Now in children, less caloric intake lead to slowing the growth velocity and ultimately it may lead to reduction in adult height by around 4 centimeters. In children, who consistently took this medication. Now regarding the second Adderall side effect, and that is the increased heart rate and blood pressure. And the explanation for this is that the higher levels of norepinephrine and dopamine that comes with the Adderall lead to activation of the sympathetic nervous system. And this will lead to activation of the adrenergic receptors in the heart and blood vessels leading to elevated heart rate which is tachycardia and blood pressure. Moving on to the third Adderall side effect and that is the insomnia. And insomnia is inability to sleep. And that is explained by that higher levels of dopamine and norepinephrine stimulate the central nervous system leading to wakefulness and inability to sleep. The fourth side effect is headache and there is no good theory for why this happens. Now let's talk about the fifth Adderall side effect and that is the dry mouth. Now since Adderall lead to activation of the sympathetic nervous system, this will lead to the activation of the alpha adrenoceptors that are in the gums blood vessels. So those alpha adrenoceptors would get activated and this will lead to vasoconstriction of these blood vessels inside the gums, leading to less blood reaching the gums and less saliva production and dry mouth. Another side effect of Adderall is the anxiety. And anxiety occur because that there is increased CNS activity that comes with the Adderall use can induce the feeling of anxiety. Now Adderall also may lead to vertigo and vertigo is sensation of spinning and movement described as dizziness and that occur because the altered levels of neurotransmitters that comes with the Adderall use can affect the vestibular system leading to this effect. Adderall also lead to gastrointestinal tract side effects in form of nausea and vomiting. And this is because increased norepinephrine levels also affects the enteric nervous system, which is the neurons inside the gastrointestinal tract. So these neurons also get affected by higher levels of norepinephrine that comes with the Adderall use leading to nausea and vomiting and also elevated norepinephrine levels may stimulate the chemoreceptor trigger zone 
in the brain leading to nausea and vomiting. Now let's talk about the sexual side effects of Adderall and those include erectile dysfunction, frequent and prolonged erections. And that occurs because the norepinephrine can affect the alpha adrenergic receptors in the genital region, which can affect the blood flow and nerve signaling leading to those sexual side effects. Amphetamine also lead to respiratory side effects and that is because the amphetamine stimulates the medullary respiratory centers producing faster and deeper breaths. In normal therapeutic doses for ADHD, this effect is not noticeable, but in higher doses it becomes obvious. Now Adderall also lead to urinary side effects in form of difficulty urinating, and that happens because Adderall lead to the activation of the sympathetic nervous system, which will lead to the activation of the alpha adrenergic receptors in the urinary bladder, leading to contraction of the bladder sphincters, leading to difficulty urinating. The other side effect is mood swings, and mood swings is sudden changes in how you feel between being depressed and being very happy and that is caused by that the higher levels of norepinephrine that comes with the other use when they are elevated in certain brain regions lead to mood swings. Adderall may also lead to tics and uncontrolled movements and that caused by the higher dopamine levels can affect the motor pathways in the brain and this may lead to the development or exacerbation of the motor tics. Adderall may also lead to psychosis and psychosis is delusions and hallucinations. Delusions is false beliefs and hallucinations is false perception of external stimuli and that caused by that the higher levels of dopamine can lead to psychotic symptoms and this occur especially with higher doses of this medication. The other side effect of Adderall is seizures and the Adderall lowers the seizure threshold by altering the neurotransmitter levels and increases the neuronal excitability. And this will increase the risk of seizures, especially in susceptible people. There is also the cognitive effects of Adderall and long-term overstimulation of the brain neurotransmitter systems with Adderall may lead to cognitive deficits. The other side effect is dependency and the higher levels of dopamine that comes with Adderall in the brain produce euphoric effect and the euphoric effect lead to psychological dependence and potential abuse and the euphoric effect especially require larger doses to be achieved. Finally, we have the tolerance and withdrawal that comes with Adderall. So the tolerance means that with the chronic use of this medication, higher doses are needed to achieve the same effect. And withdrawal means that sudden withdrawal of this medication lead to withdrawal symptoms like fatigue, depression, sleep disturbances and that is why it is always advised to lower the dose gradually if you want to stop the medication and with that we reach the end of this video thank you guys for watching please give us a like and subscribe